Hi, so I've just got myself the uh, Vaporoso Gen uh, Generation 200 um, mod. Um, and because I'm a high vape user, I wanted to find out how to change a glass to the bubble glass to the larger um, capacity glass, um, which I've got on my Vupu Drag, which is uh, a great vape uh, and great mod. As you can see, I've got the bigger glass on there. And I just, that was just time for a change, just try something different. Now, I'm not a vape expert or anything like that, um, but I just needed to change the glass. So I went on YouTube, everywhere we go, where do we get the glass replacement from? I couldn't find it anywhere. I cannot find a video on how to replace this glass. So uh, there's an easy way and hard way. And as I went about it, I thought, well, I'll just do it quickly. So um, no frills, how to get the glass off. So <laughs> what a bugger. So here we go. Let me just turn the camera down so you can see. I'm not gonna edit this or anything. I'm just gonna get on with it and show you how it all works out. Okay, so there's the mod, there's the glass. Obviously you need the, um, this is the Vapressor GTI uh, thingy, coil, what's it? I don't know all the names. So obviously the drip tip comes off, bosh. Now this bit on the top here, I don't know whether you need to do this, but it does come with the bit that um, is, the, is the filler cap, which, oh God, with a bit of thingy, which you put out like that and you fill through there. If you turn that clockwise, as though you were tightening it, it's got a reverse thread on it, which is like um, like you get on gas cylinders and stuff like that in the UK. And there you go, that comes off so you can clean all around there. I don't know if you needed to take that off, but I did anyway. Then obviously the bottom unscrews, there you go. And there's the coil. Um, you just need to get your, if you've got nails, if not a pair of pliers, and that should just pull out. Now, that left me with that. Um, and, which I, I couldn't do it with my hands or anything. So I just, God, is it stuck? Search for all the videos. This is what I did. I started off with something very thin, like a, um, a chisel. So that's got a very, obviously very thin sharp edge and it needs to be quite firm because no good using a razor blade or anything like that. And then I got that in there, all right? And started to twist it around, which started to move the glass down. Now, obviously, um, I've just got it in there underneath that bit there. Yeah, obviously as the glass moves down, the chisel will be too thin. So then I just switched over to a larger screwdriver and then just started easing it um, until it was down. These seals are very, very tight. And when I got it to a position where I could do it by hand, um, God, it was so hard. But anyway, eventually it came off. I did crack it in the process. Um, which is no big deal. So the easy way I recommend is if you want to do it, just smash the bloody thing and then you're done. So that still leaves this like plastic in there, but this is to reduce the amount of liquid you can have in it. So what you can do, if you can see there's a little seam there, um, just, as you, <laughs> sorry, I cut myself during the process. As you can see, you just click your finger in there and that plastic seam just comes apart and leaves you with that. Bingo. So then you take your, your new glass, Pop it on, push it in nice and tight to catch up the seam. I don't know if you want to put a little bit of oil around the seals just so it goes on easier, um, but I'm just making sure it's all nice and tight on there. And then all you've got to do, pop your coil back in uh, and you know just put everything back together the other way. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to just prime the coil a little bit and uh, go from there. So that's it. That's how you get your bubble glass on and now you can have your full capacity thingy doofer on the Vapresso Gen 200. Pretty cheap, nice looking mod. Quite like it, it was about 35 quid, I think, something like that. Doesn't come with any batteries. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that helps some of you out.